There are so many different types of wheels out there from all over the world, from monoblock to two-piece, three-piece, fours, cast, directional, non-directional, the list goes on and on. But today, today, my friends, we're gonna cross the pond. We're gonna go where everybody loves to overnight import their parts from. Overnight parts from Japan. We're talking about the best Japanese wheels ever made. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but we here at Fitman Industries specialize in wheels, tires, and suspension. So make sure to go take a peek at FitmanIndustries.com. We also have some ridiculously awesome deals for Cyber Monday too. So make sure to check that out. Anyway, let's rip this first one off like a Band-Aid because I was expecting it. I'm sure you guys were expecting it. So let's talk about some of Volk's most iconic wheels. We literally cannot make one of these lists without mentioning one of the most iconic aftermarket wheels in the entire world. The Volk TE37, the first model of TE37 ever made was a 15 inch little baby boy and weighed only 3.7 kilograms. 3.7, 3.7, TE37. Now you can go tell your friends where the name came from. Not only does this six spoke simple design look amazing on basically every car ever made, it's loved for its big brake clearances and forged construction, which keeps this wheel super light. You'll see this wheel on show cars, all the way over to track cars and on just about everything in between. It's hard to find a wheel that's been as popular in the last 25 years than this one. To hold that kind of stake in this industry after it's changed so much over that amount of time is a really crazy feat. They also offer a ton of different finishes, sub models and even launch limited release colorways. Between all the finishes and the sizes available, there's literally a TE37 for everyone. Next up in the Ray's lineup is the Volk CE28N. This wheel is all about performance, taking everything that makes the TE37 popular and upping it just a little bit. Not only by adding more spokes for increased rigidity, but also somehow even further reducing the weight. Remember our little trick from the last wheel where the number was directly related to the weight? Yep. Same thing here. So CE28 stands for Competition Expert 2.8 kilograms, lighter than the TE37's older brother. I genuinely don't understand how, but I swear the 90s made some of the best stuff. From the best cartoons to some of the most iconic cars and wheels and everything about the 90s just seems to be greatness. This bad man majama just screams that you take motorsports seriously. With these 10 spokes that come out from the center and dive back towards the lip of the wheel, this is another design that will look good on just about anything, but looks absolutely astonishing astonishing and timeless on most Japanese cars. Switching gears to another Japanese company that also claims to have made the very first three-piece wheel SSR. SSR is an OG in the wheel game. It was founded in 1971. One of my personal favorites that had to make this list is the SSR Professor SP1. The SP1 is an iconic five-spoke multi-piece wheel. It has partially exposed hardware with some of the hardware actually being hidden by the spokes themselves, which make for a really unique look. Being three-piece, the options for customizations are quite literally endless from the widths and offsets and the finishes that SSR offers. SSR was made with racing in mind, so although the wheels are three pieces, they're still very light. Now this wheel is going to be a little bit more tricky to find and it's also a little bit more little. Usually being found on AE86s, Miatas, or other small GDM coupes. And another wheel from SSR with a badass name is the SSR Star Shark. This wheel is ultra rare and very sought after. Known for its smaller diameter sizes, but also comes in decent widths for the time. And this wheel was a huge hit for Speed Star Racing. It was designed and produced in the 80s, coming in some dope finishes and really stood out compared to other wheels of that era. If you can find a set today, you'll probably be paying a real pretty penny or two. What kind of JDM wheel list would this be without work wheels? Being founded in a similar time frame to the other JDM brands on this list, we would see work pop up here right around the late 70s. Nowadays, you can't go to a car show without seeing tons of insane builds specifically on work wheels. The first work wheel we're going to be talking about right now is the VSXX, another multi-piece wheel with a timeless design that will always look good on just about anything. If you go to a show, chances are you'll see a few sets of these and for a really good reason. The mesh face paired with either a step lip or even a reverse lips look absolutely phenomenal in either wheel configuration. And it is a wheel we expect to keep seeing for years and years to come. Next up from work, we have the Work Meister S1. This is a stubby five spoke multi-piece wheel that simply looks amazing. The way the spokes just bend around and caress big brakes is just perfection. Fat lifts and big bendy spokes is the name of the game with these wheels and it pulls it off better than anyone else. You'll see these on a wide range of cars, but these bad boys look especially good on R32 GTRs, 350Zs, 370Zs, and 
really two-door Japanese cars. The next wheel we're gonna talk about has really, really blown up on the good old interwebs in the last few years. You may see people like TJ Hunt, Adam LZ, and more picking up these wheels and taking a great project and turning it into an insane one. I'm of course talking about the extremely sought after Blitz 03. These wheels are obviously discontinued and with the hype created around them, they're going for astronomical prices. There's a set right now for sale that's $20,000, huh? Featuring a split five spoke that's aggressive and dives back towards the barrel, these wheels stand out on any car. If you want a show-stopping set of wheels, the Blitz 03 is the only way to go. And last but not least by any means, we have the RS Watanabe. One of the most iconic eight spoke wheels in history. The indistinguishable bent cylinder style spokes look so amazingly perfect right out of the box that I think all Japanese cars should have came factory with RS Watanabe's. These eight spoke aluminum wheels have been around forever and they are still being produced to this day. However, following the trends of all the Japanese wheels on this list, they are pretty damn expensive. They're a unique design that's been replicated many times. This is a functional lightweight wheel that still manages to aesthetically look really, really good year after year. Another thing that helped skyrocket these wheels into fame was being featured in the anime Initial D on the AE86 from the show and inspired tons of young enthusiasts to one day have these wheels on their car or at least I know I did. But what I really want to know is what are some of your guys' favorite JDM wheels out there? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one and I look forward to learning about something new every single time. I hope you guys found value in this list and if you did, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you guys are subscribed to be the first ones to know about anything and everything, wheels, tires, or suspension. Also, your time is running out very quickly to get entered into our S2000 and $10,000 cash giveaway. And to celebrate that giveaway nearing its end, we launched a bunch of brand new merch. We got some sick gas pump t-shirts, tank tops, limited release, tie-dye hoodies that are going extremely fast. And we also dropped one of the best smelling Fruit Loop cereal scented air fresheners ever that will blow your freaking mind. All right, I'm Sean, Sean B.FI on the good old Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.